Hey everyone. This week's a bit different. Um, I'm really keen to throw an idea out there and it's something I've been working on for a few weeks now. I'm actually really, really keen to find someone like you who might have some insight to kind of work through this with me. So I've been throwing around this idea of feedback loops and I want to go like the next layer of the onion on this one and, and really stretch some of my own experience. So when I teach feedback loops in an organization, it's one of those core pieces of building a responsive organization. And the way that we usually frame it is understand what's important to your customer, build work that you think will improve that outcome for them, and then get it into production, get it out there working for customers, look at the feedback that you're getting from them and loop that back into what you choose to do next. So it's either informing what you thought the purpose was from a customer's perspective to start with, what you thought was important to them, or potentially it's reinforcing that and simply informing the next piece that you do towards that greater outcome. So it can kind of work in a couple of ways. But the idea is that you start with where you think you want to influence your customers, build something, and we teach working in small chunks to get it into production quickly so that we can see the results that loops right the way back around and then drives the next cycle of innovation and learning and development. So that's cool. That works. And it works at both the layer of, say, a team that's working to build software and put that software into production, um, or a team that are working at the front lines and looking to change process to just make things a little more streamlined for customers. It works at that level, um, what's probably what we call like more of a tactical level in terms of building those learning loops. Also works at a strategy level too, right? So if we have a strategic imperative and we want to test that, we can go through this uh, learning loop cycle again at that level and say, well, what's the smallest thing we could do to test whether or not that might be a valid way to go? So, so the learning loops can work at various levels in the organization. Um, one of my colleagues used to say working at different layers of abstraction, and that was one of his key things that let him know he was on track for a good framework. It could work at different tiers, different levels, different layers of abstraction within an organization. So that's great in terms of feedback on what we're doing for customers and learning organizations. But where I've started to play and where I need someone like you to help me take it to the next level is this idea around feedback loops and technology. Now, I'm not a nerd. I'm slowly coming to terms with the fact that I'm a little more geeky than a lot of my friends and that surprises me. Um, I think I've picked up enough to be dangerous after working in technology for a few years. So where I want to take this thing around feedback loops is what does it look like in our technology strategy? What does that look like in our data strategy? So something that's fascinated me for a number of years and I haven't been able to get into it is this idea of emerging consistency in our data. So not so much a single point of truth that everything feeds off, but more like something that we think is largely <laughs> The point of truth, but that everything that feeds off those technology stacks is able to operate um, even if we don't have a direct match. So we don't have to have consistency for the system to work. We simply need to know that there's a disconnect and feed that back somewhere and then do something about it. So that whole concept of um, emerging consistency in data is fascinating to me. I'd love to get into that. Um, but then even within the within the tech stack, within the way we build technology, um, if we're thinking about business transformation and organizations that often have a really hefty legacy, sometimes custom built system that's hard to move away from, and we're talking about the strategy of moving away from that and, and what are the steps we need to take, um, one of the things I've noticed is that those legacy systems, because they were built as the single point of truth, um, this idea of feedback loops is not built in. So, uh, for example, we might receive an input 
send something out. But there's not necessarily the logging or the error checking to see that that thing that we sent out actually got received at the other end. And so then when we have a problem and we try and work backwards to what the root cause was, we might find that where we sent that information has no record of it ever arriving. And so then we go back to the system that sent it, but we don't actually have, although we might have a record of it being sent, we can't necessarily see whether it was received by the other system. And so then we don't know where the error went wrong. And so what I want to get into is how do we start to build feedback loops into the technology transformation that we're doing that supports the business transformation? Because it seems like we've got it nailed at that customer end around generating feedback and understanding how we're progressing. But I'm really curious to see how that translates into a technology and a data strategy around the cycle of information, the learning. Obviously, you've got the um, the lead-ins to AI and those sorts of things. But that piece around how do we build in those circles? How do we keep circling around something so that each time we circle, we understand on a deeper level? So if you have capability in that area, I would love to chat with you. Um, we've got our first conversation, which is probably going to hit the podcast next week or the week after with a couple of guys um, who I've known for a long time and really love. So I'm super interested to see what they come up with. But I also just, I want to get into it over the next couple of weeks. So if you're keen, please hit me up, email me, DM me, leave me a comment at the bottom of this blog, whatever it is, get in touch because I'm super excited to explore this and it feels like something that's maybe going to take a little while to get into, but it's that next layer of the onion. Um, So I'm really keen to stretch myself. So please reach out. And one last thing, if you haven't already, make sure that you head on over to tribeleadershipretreats.com slash transformation hyphen secrets hyphen black book and go and download my three-step framework that's going to help you take six percent off your costs year on year whilst also building a loyalist group of customers who love you for it Um, so head on over if you haven't grabbed it already go and grab your copy and if you have this desire to explore a little bit further around feedback loops and technology strategy hit me up let me know I hope wherever you are in the world today, you're having an awesome day uh, and have a wonderful, wonderful week.